social cultural context it refers to the idea that language rather than existing in isolation is closely linked to the culture and society in which it is used so we all know that no language can exist without a uh, culture without a society so this is very important but when we say socio cultural context it means that the social uh, cultural context in which it is used needs to be taken into consideration as well so when we learn a language whenever we are going to learn a language we should understand the socio cultural context the 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 culture of the society in which that language is being used must be taken into consideration uh, this includes factors such as uh, illiteracy rate how much literate people are or illiterate people are in that society uh, what are the population geographic uh, distribution how they are geographically divided how many of them live in plains plateaus or hilly or mountainous areas educational level how qualif uh, qualified they are what is their literacy rate how many universities are there colleges are there right how many schools are there so these are very important to understand and their ethnic composition how many small groups linguistic group on the basis of uh, linguistic differences uh, are there so this is very important so whenever we uh, we we are going to understand we uh, a, a language or to learn a language the composition of all these ingredient of the society which speak that language uh, is very are very important and they also need to be learned we should have knowledge about these people social context uh, it includes particular social background what is the social background of the people who use that language uh social status uh which status they have in the world economy or in the politics of the world cultural context what is the combination of their culture culture refers to the uh, the uh, the uh, behavior the of a certain group of the shared behavior of a certain group of people that includes religion that includes values that includes language and uh, that includes economic that in, uh, uh, includes law so all these ingredient ingredient form a certain culture uh, culture so cultural setting where uh, that uh, certain thing take place that is very important in which uh, setting the a uh, society is found uh for example they are found in which part of the uh, of the globe they it's very important to know cultural background uh from uh, from which uh, races or which uh, which civilization they have come from for example uh, in pakistan uh, we belong to dravidian and then we we have different certain Uh, uh, certain uh, other uh, 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 cultural backgrounds uh, of the people who uh, who raised in this uh, uh, subcontinent similarly there are other uh, countries in which uh, certain people have certain antecedents uh, or their forefathers who uh, who ruled the world in certain periods of time style subject matter and attitude uh, abi how much uh, the people use as if uh, the language is used by the people uh, in which style informal style or formal style and obviously the language has a certain subject matter matter for example we use a language with regards to certain professions and the attitude what is the attitude towards that language how in for example in pakistan uh the the la punjabi language even by the by its own speaker has not a attitude of importance right similarly uh, so far as english language comes uh, the our attitude is very different uh, the we learn uh, english language with a different attitude and uh, uh, we even don't care about our 
mother tongue right so these are very important these things form the basic cultural context of the language so when when we learn a language we have to take care of all these things so activities that can raise awareness of social cultural context include using stories so we can read stories about the people living at, in a, in that kind of country or place so and using that language analyzing newspaper headlines they can be very help, helpful in understanding uh, how people behave what are their attitude towards uh, uh, towards the rest of the world towards towards themselves what do they think of themselves uh, and looking at slang and idiomatic language uh, also uh, the slang they use the informal uh, version of the language that he, they use and what type of idiomatic uh, e idiom they use how much uh, expression they are found in their language so all these things are very important to learn a language with especially with reference to its socio social cultural uh, context